back with another spinning video. Today I have my April 2021 Funky Club. And this month was four ounces of a merino and black tensil combed top, which is gloriously soft. And the color is called Lunar Halos. Looks like this. Now what I'm planning on doing with this one is I am going to do a three ply fractal. So that means before I start spinning, I divide the top equally into three sections. One of the section then gets split equally into two, and the third one gets split equally into four. And they're spun in the same order. So I think once I'm actually doing it and you see what I'm doing, it'll make more sense. But a fractal in, in math and in nature is something that the same pattern repeats, but infinitely smaller as you go. So like branches on a tree, it starts with one big branch and splits off into smaller branches and splits off into smaller and smaller branches. And I've always loved that as a math mathematical concept. Um, it's something my dad used to show me like generated pictures of, like you put in a formula and it turns into a picture of a fractal. It's, it's hard for me to explain it because I'm not really that mathy, but <laughs> it, it, it always looks really cool. And he was really into that apparently in high school because I come from a long line of dorks. But <laughs> fractals are awesome. Okay, so spin. Um, today I'm going to spin a three ply fractal and we're going to see how that comes out. And I will try to show you all the steps so that if you've never done it before, you can follow along. So let's get started. All right, so I've split these up, and I think now I can explain it a little better now that they're all split up, but basically, I choose one side of the braid to start with, so in this case, the orange. I split the, blade, the braid reasonably equally into three pieces. Now, some people use a scale for this. I don't really feel like doing that, but if you want it to be perfect, you can do that. I don't see the point. So, three equal pieces. This is one-third of the original blade. I keep saying blade, it's braid. One third of the original braid. So that'll be the one of the three plies in the yarn. This together is one third of the original braid, but it's split in half, so each of these is one sixth. Now, this will be the second ply. And you know, I'm gonna start with the orange, spin through this whole piece, Go to this one, start with the orange so, they, so the colors stay in the same order. Then this is the final third of the braid. It's been divided into four pieces, so each of these is one twelfth of the total braid. You know, ish, give or take a tiny bit of an ounce. So, same thing, work my way down. Start with the orange side on each of them. Go through, keep the colors in the same order, spin through the whole thing. Once all of those are done, each on their own bobbin, they'll all be plied together to make a three ply and that three ply yarn is a fractal three ply. I hope that makes sense. I'm not sure how else to explain it, but that's basically how it works. And these, as a side note, these are really pretty colors. I got to examine them more as I was going. I love the combo of the purple and the blue with the pops of orange and like a gold. It looks really cool. I'm hoping the finished yarn is really, really beautiful. So let's get to the spinning part. Mm -hmm. 